In the recent years, researchers have made a huge step forward in the biomedical imaging arena through development of solid-state image receptors like photosensitive flat panel arrays, macromachinized piezoelectric arrays and quantum dots. Images get stored into a computer by dividing the images into small segments called picture elements, or pixels. Each image pixel is then assigned a single numerical value. That value denotes the color of the image, assuming the image is indeed a colored one. If it's simply a black and white image, then a shade of gray, known in the field as gray level, is stored. Thus images used in medical practice get represented through a raster matrix, filled with either coding colors or gray level. Numerical values used in image storage are in the form of binary, or octal, or hexadecimal notation. Ultimately in this sense we say the image is stored digitally. So because the image matrix simply comprises a set of pixels, a digital image can be said to be made up of a matrix of pixels. Digital images don't always have to come from outside the computer. It is also possible to generate digital images in the computer directly in pixels. In the biomedical field, computed tomography, magnetic resonance, and computed radiography for instance do produce digital images directly. For example, a previously non-digital chest image can be entered and stored in a computer by dividing it into a set of matrix of squares and assigning the average color or shade of gray within each square as a single numerical value of the pixel. In this sense the image is said to have been digitized. The amount of pixels used will affect the appearance of the image. For example, if large sampling increments are used, the appearance of objects in the image will appear coarse. On the other hand, if a large amount of pixels is used, the image looks smoother and clear, and looks more like a photograph. Because processing of images is complex and time-consuming, sometimes experts prefer not to break the image into the largest matrix size, or more but smaller pixels. If you need the image in real time, or have a limited storage capacity, or you need the image transmitted fast, then a smaller matrix, or larger pixels may be needed. The matrix sizes are usually powers of 2, especially as the computer storage's nature is binary, for example 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024 etc. Pattern recognition software usage is common in the biomedical field. Such programs do have the capability to detect anatomic and physiological abnormalities and inconsistencies in images. They typically use CAD, computer-aided diagnosis, to characterize some of these abnormalities. For example, chest radiography is the most common type of procedure of initial detection and diagnosis of lung cancer. When it comes to X-ray image analysis, the detection of pulmonary nodules in chest radiography is one of the most studied problems. Computed tomography, abbreviated as CT, use has increased rapidly in the last few decades. For example, experts estimate that more than 62 million CT scans are carried out each year currently, compared to 3 million in 1980. This, experts say, is largely because of the advances in the CT technology, with it being more readily available in hospitals, as well as more user-friendly to both physicians and patients. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. Also click the bell icon so that you are notified of our future content. Have a good day.